Hi everybody, my name is Michael Levan, and in this video, we're gonna learn how to set up an Argo CD server inside of your dev environment under three minutes. So with that, let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, first and foremost, I'm doing a kubectl apply minus F against this install.yaml manifest. And this is the manifest that gets the Argo CD server up and running with the custom resource definition, services that are needed, deployments, all of that good stuff and right now i'm using version 2.4.3 so let me go ahead and copy that and we'll go ahead and we'll paste that in and as you can see everything is getting created right here now to actually access this environment what we're going to need to do is we're going to need the initial admin password and the way that we can do that is via getting the kubernetes secret and it's called argo cd initial admin secret so let's go ahead and run that and we'll get that password back in plain text. Okay, and now what we can do is let's run kubectl get service. All right, we see our Argo CD server service. <laughs> That's a little bit of a tongue twister is right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna forward the port and forward the network traffic to my local host. That way I can access it via a web browser. And I'm gonna do that via the kubectl port forward command against the Argo CD server and as we can see it is listening on port 80 so we're good to go here all right i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to copy this and let's head over to a web browser all right and as you can see i have my web browser up right here to the right i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to paste this in all right and as you can see we're getting the little not an error but a warning rather that it's uh probably just a self-signed sir error or something like that so let's go ahead and continue all right, and as we can see, our Argo CD server is up and running. We're getting traffic right over here in VS Code. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna copy the password that we got via plain text. I'm gonna paste it in right here, and the default username is admin. Let's go ahead and click sign in. And as you can see, our Argo CD server is up and running. And that's how you can get a development environment running for Argo in under three minutes. Thank you so much for watching.